Chris and I like the Red Sox. Welcome to Five Minutes with Dan, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Hey everybody, this is Nick Pavlidis, and thank you so much for being here for another episode of 5 Minutes with Dad. This is the podcast where you get to listen in on a little father-son or daddy-daughter time with me, my 7-year-old son, Pavlos, or my 5-year-old daughter, Angela. Before I play today's episode, I want to bring up the resource of the week, and thank you guys for sticking around. We took a couple weeks off with school starting, and it was a lot of work for everybody. I'm now full-time working as a podcaster and ghostwriter and coach, so for me... I'm going through a lot of uh, changes in, in my scheduling. I have a pretty full schedule of ghostwriting projects. I'm helping people do what I love to do, which is share content with the world. Some people have a, a great skill, a great speaking skill. Some people have great writing skills, but their time is better spent other places with their business. And other people can can be uh, great writers, but it just takes them long to do it. So I come in and I help them take their existing content or what they know in their head and make it into a format that's in their words and that is together as an awesome book or course, uh, something that can be repurposed on the road. So I'm super excited about doing this on a full-time basis now and I am so honored that people are working with me. So anyhow, that's uh, that's the the short story of why we have taken a couple weeks off my schedule, the kids schedule. Now everything's back to pretty much routine. So we'll be coming at you every Monday morning uh, from now on. So the resource of the week is a book that I just listened to on Audible, and I'm going to share with you how you can get it for free if you're not a member of Audible already, uh, or you could just head on over to Amazon to pick it up. And that is a book called How Children Succeed, Grit, Curiosity, and the Hidden Power of Character by Paul Tuff. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. I probably should know since I listened to it on Audible, but I wasn't paying attention to that part. Anyhow, so this is a book that talks about why some children succeed while others fail. The story we usually tell about childhood and success is about intelligence, uh, but success comes to those who score the highest or from preschool to admissions to SATs. But Paul Tuff argues that the qualities that matter more have to do with character, skills like perseverance, curiosity, optimism, and self-control. It's a really, really interesting book, and it's uh, it's really well written. And there is a um, there's a sequel. This was a New York Times bestseller, and there was a follow up book. If you go to the Amazon page, which you can go right to uh, five minutes with dad.com slash succeed, that'll bring you that's our affiliate link right to Amazon to pick up the book. And you can check out if you scroll down, it'll say customers who bought this also bought helping children succeed, which is a 2016. Both books are really, really great stuff, really get you thinking, really get you motivated. Uh, so check it out. Five minutes with dad.com slash succeed. Or if you're not a member of Amazon, you can get either one of these books for free with your 30 day trial. You can cancel and keep it after the 30 day trial. All you got to do there is go to um, audibletrial.com slash Nick, and that will bring you there. If you're not a member, you can get a free uh, book. Before I play the episode, I want to thank our uh, sponsor, Disney on a Dollar. Uh, if you go to five minutes with dad.com slash Disney, that'll bring you right over to the Facebook page. And it's my friend, David Dollar. He has been helping people plan and execute awesome Disney trips and save money because he gets paid. He's a, a Disney travel agent. He gets paid when he books the trips and he knows everything about Disney. He can plan your trip with you. So you get, you go, you get to do what you want and you save tons of money. It doesn't cost you a penny. So check that out. Five minutes with dad.com slash Disney. Enjoy the show. Who's that? Hey. I said episode of five minutes with dad. Me. You can talk about, and now you can say, say what I said. What do you say? No, I said, just get started. Okay, and then what do I say next? Then you sing a song like this. Oh, you know, it's awesome. You can't go wrong. You never get stuck when you try and try again. Okay, so I, how about I say, you said who's ready for a five minute awesome episode of Five Minutes of Dad, so I'm supposed to say me, right? Because I am, right? Yes, and you can sing whatever song you want. Okay. I have a song that I'm going to sing because this song is all about 
Oh, you're coughing. Yes, before we get started, I'm going to sing a great song, and it's all about what I'm going to be doing soon. Ready? It's called, I'm ready to go off to kindergarten. my songs. What are you talking about? I said don't sing my song. I just don't want you to sing my songs. <laughs> Why are they your songs? Because they're from my school. Yeah, but what if I want to go to kindergarten? You can't. Why? Because your parents are already trained. We're already trained? Yeah. Yeah, but you know I'm still learning a lot of stuff, right? Yes, but you still have to see what you can do at person size. Oh, at person size? But I heard in kindergarten they give you nap time. No, they don't. They give you play time in months. Hmm. Well, that sounds pretty good to me. It is. <laughs> But do they give you nap time too? Because if they did, then then maybe you can write books for people and I will go to kindergarten. What do you think? No. No? Why not? Because. Don't you think your school would like to have me in their kindergarten class? No. Why not? I'm a nice guy. Because you're a dad. But I share. Yeah, but you can't. And I'm nice. Yeah, but you can't save your food in. And it's for a fact. <laughs> I can't what? You can't go to school because you still have to learn, but not from school. You still have to learn when you can play anything and when you can play tag or anything like that. I like playing tag. I know that, but you have to still play tag with us at the house. Only you can do it at the house because parents can't get lost because they lost their kids. Oh, we can't get lost because we're the ones doing the watching? (laughs) All right, so I guess I'm not going back to kindergarten, huh? Yes, because you, I'll be golden. You know about all the things kindergarten did. Yeah, but every time you come home from pre-K and Pavlos comes home from first grade, and now that you're starting kindergarten and second grade, you teach me some really good things that I forgot. So why can't I go through and get a refresher? Because I can tell you all about them when we're done. Oh, you come home and we'll... When, oh, I have an idea. When you come home, I can say... Wait, let's attend a math school. You be in the... You be in the... T- t- ten teacher, okay? Okay, I'll be the pretend teacher. Hello, class. Welcome no, to... after the show. A- oh, after the show? What are we going to do during the show? Um, we can... Remember I said about animals? Oh, you wanted to tell everybody how to be very nice and take care of animals? Yes! Who's yes. going to... And pets. Yes. Who's going to teach them? Me or you? You. Me? Okay. Everybody, we today are going to talk about how to be extra nice and careful to pets. But before we do, we are going to say hi to a very special person who's listening to us right now. She listens to all our shows and she, her mom Hello, wrote to daddy. Her name is. Yes. And her mom wrote to daddy and said that my daughter loves your show and i said oh my goodness so angela do you want to say hi to our friend alani say hi alani hi alani say thank you for listening to our show thank you for listening to our show yeah okay alani thank you so much for listening to our show and say hi to your mom from us okay okay all right so we're going to say three things about taking care of animals that angela wants to teach okay Angela, tell one thing about animals. Feeding them and not letting them bite. Okay, so let's take those one at a time, okay? So if you have an animal, do you feed animals that are your pets or do you feed animals that you see in the streets? Pets. Yes, because if you see an animal in the street, you don't know if the animal's dangerous. You have to be real careful with it. And you also don't know if it's somebody's pet. So you don't want to give it food and have it not go back to their owner, right? Yeah, and the... And if you see a wild cat, that's not good. Because if you see a wild cat, that then they will bite you. Yes, if you see a wild cat, like a lion, right? Yes. Yeah, you want to stay away from lions, right? Yeah, and wild cats, cats that look like real cats. Oh, big ones or little ones? Big ones. Yes, so things like tigers that are all one color? Mm-hmm. Or leopards? Yes, but the... They are cats. Yes. <coughs> They're big cats, right? Yes. And they bite, right? Yes. And they like meat, right? Yeah. And we're made of what? Meat. <laughs> and we're animals. Yes. Okay. So, 
that's two things, really. The first thing you said was feed your pets regularly when you have them, right? Mm-hmm. And if you see an animal in the street, you got to be very careful with it, right? Yes. Because it could be wild. Yes. And it could be mean. Yes. And it could bite. Yes. And you don't want any of those, huh? Yes. Okay, so what's one more thing about animals you want to tell people? Um, <clears throat> stay away from caves. There must be bears or anything in it. Oh, stay away from caves, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you're, in the, if you're in the forest and you see a cave, you don't know. That cave could be a wild animal's house, right? Yes. So that's a little bit about animal safety, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep, because you don't want to end up inside a bear cave because it could be hibernating and you go in there and it says roar, right? Yes, and it might eat you. Well, yeah, some bears do, but didn't we learn something when we were away that some bears only eat berries and veg- and, and trees and stuff, right? And yeah. leaves? Mm-hmm. But some types of bears eat meat. <laughs> yes. And some kind of bears be nice and only eat fruit that are on the ground. Yes, but they're still dangerous because they might think you're trying to hurt them, right? And they can still push you around, right? Yes, but we're not. Right. We don't want to hurt any bears. Okay. So, Angela, that was great. We talked a little bit. We had fun a little bit. Oh, okay. We don't want to forget. So, we have in our room, we have a moose that Daddy got at an airport about a year ago. I found it about a year ago, and it's a boose. I, a, a boose. Silly Daddy. I said a boose. It's a moose holding a baby moose, and it says, Moose Hugs from Canada. And it still has the tag, and Daddy found it. Somebody bought it. When they were getting on the airplane and they got on the airplane and forgot their moose. So I brought it home. And for a year, I've been trying to find who bought the moose. They were flying from Toronto, Canada. And it was last summer. Animal is it? Call us whoever stuffed animal is it. Yes, and we will send it to you. And if we can't find, it's still, it's it's about a year old, but we haven't been giving it hugs. We've just been saying hi to it and taking good care of it, but it's still brand new. And if it doesn't find, if we don't find its home, then we are going to do what with it for Christmas? Give it away to someone. Yes, we're going to give it away to someone, okay? And we will give it away to someone who's going to give it a good home and who doesn't get a lot of presents. So we're going to find someone who... If we don't find who 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 lives with it. Yes, that's a good idea. We will give it away to a sick kid who wants a special moose that's been loved, 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 but still brand new because we haven't been giving it lots of hugs. We've just been saying hi to it and keeping it on our shelves, keeping it safe, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, Ange, we talked about a whole bunch of stuff. We talked about animals a little bit. We talked about having fun as a family. We talked about everything, okay? Yeah. And yes, the moose has a baby moose, and the baby moose has a little baseball cap on it. It's a red cap with a with a white uh, maple leaf on it, just like the Canadians, yeah, right? And it's so small. Yes. Yes, the baby moose is so small. All right, tell everybody, thank you for listening to Five Minutes with Dad. Thank you for listening to Five Minutes with Dad. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. So there you have it. Another episode of 5 Minutes with Dad in the books. Don't forget to check out the resource of the week, How Children Succeed, Grit, Curiosity, and the Hidden Power of Character at 5minuteswithdad.com slash succeed. Or if you're not a member of Audible, go get it for free at audibletrial.com slash nick. And thanks, Disney on a Dollar, for helping us bring this message to people. If you want to go down to Disney, save money, and have a better vacation, and have it not cost you a penny to do that, go to 5minuteswithdad.com slash Disney. That'll bring you to their Facebook page and my friend, David Dollar. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pavlos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com. 